Hey, welcome to the Ancient Cosmic Clock. We're excited for our video today, and we've got a challenge for you. We've got a lot of really great graphics, and I want to see who can guess and name every character that we put up on the screen during this video. So leave your answers in the comments, and you know, we'll, uh, we'll respond to the comments, or we'll do another video next week or something. Um, for this video, just a little bit of a warning, we're going to be a little bit mean. It's not because we don't love all the science, because we do, um, but we're going to be a little bit mean and a little bit direct because we're talking about kind of the darker sides, the shadow sides, and, and I hope that it's received in the spirit that it's intended where if you notice these tendencies in yourself, you, you have a choice of whether you're going to continue them or not. So with that, let's begin. I think this week's video is going to be, if I were the devil, how would I tempt you? <laughs> So, should we start with Aries? Anybody on Aries? How would you tempt an Aries? Something impulsive. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have, like, if I was the devil and I was whispering in Aries' ear, I would probably say, this person needs to be shut up. They're annoying. Shut them up by force. Punch them. <laughs> Jana, anything for you? Ooh, get them angry. Yeah, yeah, like, like that's, that's kind of what I'm going for. Like, point to them. Point out something to them that is that requires an urgent response that they don't have time to think through. That they're just gonna, you know, go hit somebody. Yeah, I like it. Get them to wanna fight. Alrighty, Taurus. Ooh, what do Taurus. we do to a Taurus? How do we get a Taurus to the dark side? Well, if I may, <laughs> it is delicious to the taste and very desirable. <laughs> you must eat some of the fruit of this tree. I think they would enjoy that to like lounge relax get them to like not be motivated yeah appeal to appeal to the senses like appeal to comfort this is gonna feel good this is gonna be um like you don't have to do anything like laziness is the temptation yeah i tell them that they are right that they don't need to help somebody or agree with them or compromise to stay <laughs> doing the same thing remember each part of these and we're not going to name off all the body parts that may, may make this not Braided kosher. may not be kosher. Um, <laughs> Looking at you, Scorpio. But like, <laughs> but like Taurus is the neck. So if you can stop the neck from changing directions and you can get it to stay solid and staying in their own lane, not being a help to others, mm. not helping somebody in need, like maybe a stubbornness. Yeah, helping them, pushing them to be stubborn. Think about that body part and how you can manipulate that body mm. part. Scriptures would say stiff necked. Yes. But I would also say uh, tempting them with earthly treasures, things of this earth. Yeah, yeah, getting them focused on riches. Yes. Yeah. That's an earth. Gluttony. I was, was going to say that one later, but I, I started with gluttony because, you know, food. But... Oh, food is definitely something that they, it, it's the earthly comforts. We call oh. it the food sign. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely say so. Should we go to Gemini? Okay. I, I, I may not have the self-awareness here, so I need, I need to rely on you guys. How would you tempt a Gemini? <laughs> Okay, I would tell a Gemini, you don't have to lie, just say it this way. You're not <laughs> responsible for how they understand this. <laughs> I think Mislead the, them. I think that's literally something I've said <laughs> as an excuse uh, when when challenged on, you know, having allegedly misled someone. <laughs> <laughs> don't you don't have to lie, just deceive. It could another one if you're trying to just create disharmony, get the Gemini to just do all the talking and not give time for somebody else to have a word in edgewise. <laughs> We're probably really, really prone to like engaging in some juicy gossip. Like we probably do that too Oh much. yeah, that's a good one. Talking. So, like, offer me some like, hey, did you hear about? Like, dun, yeah. Dun, dun. They're like, no, tell me more. <laughs> Make sure you don't tell anybody that. Like, and it's the Gemini Scorpio combination that I'm dealing with here. So it's like kind of double pressure. If there's conflicts between a Gemini and another person, I would, if I was the devil, I would encourage the Gemini to not address it, to avoid it. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's uncomfortable. Just, it'll, it'll, it'll go away. It'll go away. It'll go away on its own. Yeah. <laughs> like, just ignore them, run away. Don't, don't deal with that. Um, avoid confrontation, avoid the fight, even 
e- even if it needs to be done, you know, just avoid. Delay. Yeah, delay, avoid, push it aside, don't nec- don't address things that need to be addressed. And I don't like to use the word fight, but yeah, just don't address things that actually need to be addressed if it's uncomfortable. Yeah. One other thing I would say to a Gemini is that person over there, they're stupid. They don't deserve as much. They're not as smart as you. (laughs) I hope this isn't too triggering. I've played this game with friends and had them start yelling at me. They didn't find it funny. I'm I'm exercising the restraint and I'm choosing not to. uh, I'll I'll pick the fight later. Oh yeah, they could they could look at it in a way where it feels like the right thing to do, even if it's like no, it really would be better to address it immediately. Hey, Gemini's are, are master <laughs> mental gymnasts, yes. and we can say like, look, from a certain like Obi Wan Kenobi, what I told you was true from a certain point of view. Okay? Yes, that is true. <laughs> How about Cancer? We've probably been done enough to Gemini. <laughs> I would say if it feels good, do it. God is love, and love is there. God approves. <laughs> Ooh, that's diabolical. They're the they're the nurturer of the zodiac. That's the mother. Yeah, and, and for me, like I, I think of the mother as like super clean all the time, like you know, motherly. Right, but right. If you're if you're appealing to that detent. Yeah, you're taking the good part of it and twisting it. Yeah, and that's that's what the devil does. <laughs> yeah. What else about a cancer? Um, it feels good, do it. That, I like that. I like that. Hits the nail on the head, I think. Like if yeah, you're looking at it from, you know, the devil's perspective and like, okay, how do we get this person to not be their best self? You know, let's trick them into being overly nurturing, <laughs> we'll say, you know. Yeah, and, and then keep in mind, they're an I am sign. Yes. And so they, they, they're going to have that um, wiring to want that nurture for themselves too, not just for other people. True, true. So if you can get them addicted, it's a water sign that's closely related to Pisces, which can fall into the Mm. addictions, illusions. So you could possibly trap it too, the same in similar ways. Yeah, more prone to sensuality too. Yeah. So it could, and because it's an I am sign, it could be um, very prone to selfishness, like a a temptation. So if I was the devil, I'd tempt him to be selfish. Yeah, and I would probably, and if and for those who don't know the I am sign, so the first four signs, so um, that argument that she brought up very well probably relates to this and the previous three signs. So keep that in mind. All right, are we ready to uh, address the most tremendous of all the signs? The one that, the one that thinks it's the greatest of everything all the time. That's what I got in my notes. I have. <laughs> I have Leo. I have to tell Leo, you're more important, you deserve more than they do, they don't matter. <laughs> you're the greatest, you're the most tremendous, you're you're a big, beautiful They exist. The others exist to adore you. <laughs> <laughs> they owe you adoration. <laughs> Yeah, they're the, you're the main character. They're, okay. they're not. They're, it's okay. They're non- it's okay to demand the adoration. Those people are, are NPCs. They're non-player characters. Oh. You could, like, bait Leos into, like, starting a lot of drama because they'll hold on to the fire. Oh, yeah. And so you could get them to, like, yeah, set this firework off. You know what I mean? It's another one. Or, or like, let's say they, were, they took offense to something. Um, the devil may be like, don't let that go. That was disrespectful. Like, they owe you an apology, you need to go address it, you know, and then start all this drama over something where, you know, the scriptures may say, don't be easily offended. But, but then Leo's like, oh no. I like, got, I'm not easily offended. I gotta They're take, just an I gotta, yeah, I gotta yeah. take Leo's side on this because it gets people to clean up their behavior if you do that to people. If you call somebody on the spot, like, that's not okay. I'm not letting that, that stuff go. <laughs> like, Like, it can get people to behave better to you. It can. It can. (laughs) But if you're dealing with somebody that's equally um, stubborn or whatever, they may not. It may just cause more drama, more conflict, more friction. You know, they they may just think that Leo is an a-hole. They all, all, all the archetypes, all the themes of the sign, they all need to be counterbalanced. They need to be done within reason. You can't be doing things that send you to prison. Right. <laughs> right, right. And 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 we all have a, a weaknesses, you know. And we all have strengths. And it's 
you know, looking at it from not saying that if you are this sign, you will do this. That's not what we're saying. We're just saying, you know, some of the weaknesses could be this. And, you know, perhaps mm -hmm. perhaps you're more evolved than that. Perhaps you don't fall into the pitfalls. And if that's you, fantastic. But have you're some awesome. self-awareness. And yeah. if you do, you know, maybe, maybe make sure you're in the right lane. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Or just be aware of uh, maybe where temptations could be, where you could be tempted. Mm. Virgo the Virgin. How would you tempt Virgo? How would I tempt Virgo? Uh, I'd offer to put them in charge so everything would be perfect. <laughs> um, if I was the devil, I'd whisper into their ear, their ear, your way is better than everybody else. <laughs> oh. Everybody should listen to you. <laughs> I. Those are good ones. Um... I put, I would get them to look at the imperfections in others and mm. and to devalue them. Ah, so to be And make critical. them not, to be critical and to, to put in their heart that they're, they're not as valuable and telling them that there is only one true authorized way to do it. And no, no change them from normal. <laughs> no. I'm just kidding. Well, no, truly though, truly though, like they, they often don't want Change. They want to once they figure out their routine. They often don't want to vary from that. And that and I and I spell that out as a weakness. And if you look, you, you best understand the signs by understanding its opposite. Its opposite is Pisces. Pisces is the two fish. It's the two ways. Mm -hmm. It's the subconscious. It's the right brain sign. And when you consider that, and it's about going a, a different way, Pisces is. It's about taking you to another plane. Virgo is going to be the one way because it's the opposite. It's the oh, one true virginity, the only virginity. Yes. Like there's only one because straight and narrow and we only one way. Yes. And we've talked about how society doesn't produce a lot of virgins unless there's a control system. So if you can make it there being one controlled, authorized, only one pure way. You have to do that with your hand while you say that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because he's a Leo. <laughs> <laughs> now Libra. Anybody got anything for Libra? Okay, how to tempt a Libra. I've thought a lot about how to tempt a Libra. And really it's like, it's yes. it's a people pleasing thing, right? Um. I would say they're gonna be so happy with you. They're going to, they're going to be so satisfied with whatever it is that I'm trying to get them to do, if it's a Libra. Like be over pleasing, even to the mm -hmm. point of self-sabotage, mm -hmm. get the Libra to please someone else. Hey, your boyfriend's really gonna love this, so you should totally. So yeah. keep in mind, it's on the axis with Aries, though. So it has a connection to Aries energy too. So if I'm gonna be playing that, if I'm the devil, I'm gonna be playing the long game with Air Libra, because Libra is gonna keep the peace for a while, but I'm gonna get her to him or her to keep the peace long enough so that I can make her explode later. Mm, yeah, I like, like that. Like to the point where they've um, given so much that they have nothing left to give and they just, yeah. just implode them. or explode. And another part of Libra, like on one hand, I see how people can see Libra as like the best, most benevolent sign. I, I get that. Yeah, I think they like, both relate to that and, and And they yeah. probably are. <laughs> but if there's a way to prick Libra, um, if you understand that it's, it's a, a fall and it's opposition of the sun in Libra is opposite of sun in Aries, which is an exaltation and where the, the ego exalts in Aries, it falls in Libra. It's taking away its light. So you can exploit that energy. And if somebody has too big of ego, Libras are allowed out to like want to calm down the ego of the person that's like puffing themselves up. It kind of annoys like Libra suns. For example, mm -hmm. so if you can exploit that energy and get Libra to overly judge, especially Libra well, Sun it rules over judgment and justice. yeah, and it's and, and the Sun is the fairness. ego, yeah, and it and 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 that's where it's weighed, balance, and judge. That's the symbol of the scales of balance. So if you can exploit that energy, I would tempt Libra to judge its fellow man more, and yeah, to, and to build up energy mm -hmm. like of anger yes. and disharmony. Yeah. And get it to go into its opposite energy. Areas. Well, I think they would probably easily more fall into like disgust or disdain for those who are overly egotistical. Yes. So I would exploit it in that area, Libra. Yeah. And, and if I was the devil. Yeah. I mean, anytime you hold negative energy, it's not good for you. So. Yeah. yeah and it leads to unhappiness. Yeah. 
Okay, so we're doing this also so that you guys can see these things and then you can live a happier life and recognize, yeah. Scorpio. Sex, sex, sex at all hours of the day in all rooms of the house. <laughs> I don't know. Who says it has to be in the house? <laughs> I got stealing on mine too. I put like porn addiction. That falls under the realm of what I was saying. <laughs> and and uh, if I can get them it, like heavily addicted into porn, and this is my issue with and sorry, I've had to offend most people on the internet. <laughs> but are, yeah. you, are you even allowed to say that word? Are you allowed to say that that's not a good thing on the internet? <laughs> right. And I, I guess my point is from what I've seen where people get... One, my point is where people get heavily addicted and hooked into porn is that sometimes they start to devalue people. They start to mm -hmm. see all these perfectly shaped naked people and then they get mad at people and treat, treat people in their circles that don't look like that and have a little bit less patience because it's like the instant gratification. Well, so it's, it's a possessiveness. Like it's mine, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine, right? It's taking mm. stuff. Right. So I would push people down those ra roads to where it would put them in disharmony to treat more poorly the people around them. It would be like a long-term game that way. If I was the devil, that's what I would do. Get them devaluing other people getting them addicted, getting them desensitized to the feelings of around them. Because emotions, Scorpio could be very, can be very caring, potentially, as a sign. Yeah. It could have a lot of redeeming attributes. Um, and it, you know, this might be the only time that I'm on record saying this, but it can be just as emotional as a Cancer or a Pisces. It is a water sign, after all. And... Part of that is like it's going to feel those emotions intensely and so like getting it to but it's not necessarily going to be the impulsive type like aries more calculated yeah yeah i mean that person needs killing oh, <laughs> oh no <laughs> and you know all the famous serial killers they're not scorpios usually because scorpios don't get caught that's, oh, no. that's probably true I mean, we can't prove it, but it's probably true. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> so, maybe we've said enough there. <laughs> I told you I'd be mean. I've been mean to my own sign. <laughs> okay, Sagittarius. This is a fire sign. And so, for me, fire signs, like, that's going to be an impulse control thing, generally. If I'm, mm, if I'm yes. trying to tempt someone. It's going to be an impulse control thing if I'm trying to tempt someone. And I, I would, like, try and find a way to get them wrapped up in some cause like the the people like hey you need to like join the protest for you know people like sagittarians against you know red lights on on traffic signs like it doesn't even matter what it is i would just find a way to like activate their yeah i want to i'm for or against whatever you're for against yeah that's similar to what i have i have light the match I don't know if you guys have seen, but like Mars and Sag, for example, I've never seen such like bigger explosions than that. Yeah, yeah, and that, that's kind of what I'm saying. Like, hey, you know, fight the power. Like, the police need, you know, protesting because police are doing too much speeding ticket writing or whatever. I don't, I don't want to get political on all this. Yeah. I don't get speeding tickets generally. Yeah, so they are the up and down. So I definitely would be exploiting, make, making them angry. Um, another one. They have their, they, they go up and down. And so I would like try to like mess with the, if I was the devil, I'd try to mess with their chemicals and try to make them more bipolar, make them swing into the depressed, making them blow up one moment and then making them like sad and burn out and like not doing anything like at another time. I mean, and it's like, you know, Sagittarius is the sign for higher learning. Where do we see a lot of protests breaking out all the time? On university campuses. Right? Yeah, and that's the kind of that's the Sagittarius theme. Very good point. Capricorn. Capricorn. Money, 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 money. Right. You can, you know, you can trick someone a little bit with uh, into paying you extra. You can, and not not that Capricorns are dishonest, just that they they can be obsessed with money. Mm. Say, make a Capricorn discontent. Yeah. yeah, it's never enough. Yeah, yeah. So I'd be whispering into their ears about other people being worthless in the way, lazy, like not as valuable. Um, 
I would get them overly critical and complaining. I would get them to like cut other people down more to create disharmony that way. And and I'd be, I'd also be appealing to the ego, like, hey, you work hard, so you've earned this. You deserve. (laughs) You deserve X, Y, Z, whatever it is that you're justifying to yourself, whatever it is that I'm trying to get you to do. Ah, fair enough. Aquarius. How would we tempt Aquarius? I I would say that's that's what I would have said. Cause them to do a riot. <laughs> oh, they, they, they are... That's the rebellion. Rule side. the archetype of rebellion, so that's definitely... Appeal to their sense of, uh, yeah, the, yeah, it's very similar to the Sagittarius, because like, yeah. that's, that's where my mind goes, too. I would get them annoyed with prideful people, like Leo archetypes. That's some way I'd mess with them. Like they get are them, in opposition to Leo. So get them to do do the Leo things, do the make it somebody bigger than life and more important, more deserving, and get them irritated to that person. Um, getting them somebody to rebel against. Ah, uh, uh, give them something to rebel against. Mm. Um, I would tell them lies in their ear. I would lead them down a lane of false conspiracies and get them distracting from what was really important. What do you mean by false conspiracies? <laughs> Conspiracy theories. Yeah. That are actually theories. Yeah, yeah. Not the ones that are absolute facts. Like, the part of this video has been censored. <laughs> <laughs> I do have some graphics of this one. I'm not knocking those. Those can be fun theories, but I would get them onto less important topics, get them focused on things that don't matter. Mm. So you'd try to waste their time going down rabbit holes. Yes. Can you believe that the government is hiding the existence of Bigfoot from us? Well, that one's true. (laughs) (laughs) I know. (laughs) So I guess my point is, is Aquarians and their mindset could fix the world if you let them. So they could make everything better. Let them believe that and let them, yeah. So if you could get them to like go down the false ones, and waste their time there, then they're not really fixing the good things. So that's where I'm at. Obama was an Aquarian. N- n- he was Aquarius rising. He's a Leo Aquarius rising. He was the two opposites. So in person, in private, he would have acted like Donald Trump, who's a Leo rising, and he would have been like, like a hoot and like saying all the wild things in pr- closed doors, and then. But his public all persona public- is like appeal to everybody, like. You know, of, of public figure presidents, again, not to get political or anything, but he seems like the most, like, he looks like a pleasant guy to sit down and crack open a beer with and, you know, have a good time. Saying the appropriate things. Yeah, very appropriate, though. In fact, early in his presidency, like, there was some argument and he invited, like, they, they called it the Beer Summit. Google Beer Summit, you'll find what I'm talking about. <laughs> he invited, like, a police officer and somebody who were having a fight to come to the White House and have a beer with him, literally. Like, wow. That's a real thing that happened. For real. Th- did it, like, put out the fire? So I don't know. I don't remember. For the record, we can't say it, but he does have some fun conspiracy theories surrounding him. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, if you were looking for getting distracted... Uh, Obama. <laughs> so... Pisces, last one. What would we do to manipulate Pisces? I, I would say escapism. Yes. In all of its varieties. So in like, all of its varieties. Video games, like, hey, you know, check out. You, you haven't played, you know, video game part seven of eleven out of this whole series <laughs> yet. And you, like, just the, the fantasy of this other world that we're gonna suck you into. You need to watch season nineteen of. I don't watch enough TV to know anything that's on TV anymore. But you know what I'm talking about. Stargate probably has that many. <laughs> At least. You, you haven't watched season 19 in a while. Right. And so that's one angle of it. And then the other one is like the, the mind-altering angle. Can I say that like without offending the YouTube powers that be? That's probably, <laughs> probably keep that one there. Addictions, I got, which is you guys are describing, that's yeah, on my yeah. list. Addictions of anything. Um, that sounds probably pretty triggering, I'm going to say it anyways. But like, I would, if I was the devil, I would t- instigate one of the fire signs into hurting a Pisces. And then oh. getting and then getting them stuck in their trauma. And Oh, poor man. Oh, oh. No, that's really sad. I could totally see You're that You're a monster. Happening. 
Oh, I'm like, I can totally. I knew Leo was the worst side. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was probably not nice. I have some Pisces in me. I love Pisces. They're yeah. one of my favorite signs. Yeah, uh, I could totally. Four of my five children are Pisces, so. <laughs> Also, <laughs> and he has a wonderful family. So, um, we definitely love Pisces, but they can get stuck, stuck in loops and addiction. So, if you can add and create trauma and drama into the world, you can make it recirculate. And once again, we're saying all this stuff to like create show awareness. show where the vortex is to put us into our shadow, yeah. and so that we can become conscious of it, we can recognize it and um, ascend out of it. Yeah. So I didn't say that to insult anybody. I said that to, that's a lesson to even myself who has some Pisces and to like not get stuck in the bad times to yeah. ascend out of it. And, and this is so that you guys can all recognize, ascend out of it, get out of it, do better than this. Yeah, yeah. break out of your patterns. And, and like, like we say, this is all coming from a place of love. So I hope that that's coming through despite how, you know, sometimes me and we've been in this video. <laughs> and we are very sorry if we've offended any of you. I'm not that sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was not our intention. It's more about creating awareness. But it, I think also with Pisces, um, if you could get them to believe an illusion, you know, but like, because you know, they're incredibly creative minds. Mm -hmm. And so, um, because I have a son who's a Pisces rising, he's like phenomenal at making up stories, tall tales, like, mm -hmm. you know, I was at school today and he'll just like come up with this fantastically. Um, is he the hero or the victim of the stories? You know, <laughs> I'll, get, I'll give an example. I'll Some give of both. <laughs> an example. <laughs> so his first day of kindergarten, he comes home and he's like, I got put in attention today because I got hit. <laughs> Somebody hit me and I got put in a tent. I'm like, oh, so I should call your teacher. And he's like, nope, with a big old smile on his face. <laughs> like, no, you should not call my teacher. <laughs> An attention is detention. If you yeah, he got put in detention. <laughs> yeah, I, I have one of those too from uh, one of my one of my many Pisces children. Um, came home from school saying that, that uh, or he, he had like a stack of he found like a stack of like five dollar bills or something. He had like fifty dollars, which is a lot of money for a six year old. Yeah. He said, "Dude, where did you get that?" Oh, a kid gave it to me at school. <laughs> I don't believe you. And and you know it it just kind of goes on that way. Like, look, come clean with me. I stole it from your from your wallet <laughs> over the course of however long time it was. You have that much money in your wallet. Oh, no, no, he, he, said, he said over the course. So he was like going like, and pilfering at one $5, $5 bill here, at a time. $20 there. Yes. Like, I wish you guys could see my face. <laughs> yeah. That's and, clever. And, and they are creative. But it, it, it took yeah. like two hours to get the truth out of it because it went from. I found it on the couch. Someone at school gave it to me. I drew some pretty pictures and sold them to people. <laughs> like, he had every BS story. And son, if you're listening to this, you know it was BS. And I know it was BS. <laughs> well, they couldn't have all been true all at once, you know. <laughs> every iteration of that uh, and until finally, like, he, he came clean to me and we reconciled. But, uh, yeah, that, that's it. The, the creative the creative component of this I forgot where we were going with it but uh, the creative component is a real factor the yeah where we were going with that is is um, if I was the devil I would tempt a Pisces to fall into illusions yeah and keep in mind these forms of these signs all have a beauty to them and oh, you can yeah. take these beauties and use them in a twisted warped way <laughs> or you can take them and you know yeah do the beautiful things. Yep. They, you, you, they can, can... you can take the Gemini, what I told you was true from a certain point of view, <laughs> and you can Kenobi. use that to, uh, to answer questions like, does this dress make me look fat? <laughs> you look wonderful, dear. <laughs> well, well and, and that's true, you know, like, you didn't answer the question about the weight, but to you, she is beautiful. Right. Wow. I, I always tell Mai that, uh, Mai, Mai, is, Mai is my wife's name. I always tell her that uh, that dress looks much better on the floor. <laughs> and there's the Scorpio. <laughs> All right, I think that's a good wrap. We'll leave on that. We'll leave on that note. <laughs>